Woodland Park High School has about 600 students at the moment. We're a rural area. We have students who kind of come from all over Teller County. We're the only high school in the district. I think it is incredibly important to have students in leadership positions because really it's their school. We already had our experience and we want them to have their experience. Their voice has to be the loudest in the room and the most listened to. And we have to, as a life skill, teach these people that they are empowered, their voice is important, and their decisions matter. In my time in Woodland Park, we have had more um, teens die by suicide, drug overdose, and accidents than I can even fathom for a small town. We knew that we had a need because we had so many kids showing up in the counseling office and just not enough support for them. Our librarian, Sarah, she is the one who basically found CERN. So she was at the time our dean um, of student services is what we call it. She recognized as part of the student services team we have kids in need and we need to do better and then the CERN grant came along and it was just a perfect match. It was what are you already doing and how do we help you improve that and then how do we help you build on it and grow it and I was like this is what we need to do. Student Council is very traditional in that it's the Student Council leadership group. I would say sources of strength, different kind of leadership. Sources of strength is all about inclusion. That's their priority, is the inclusion. It's a nationwide campaign, but we have created a class for it because we really feel like it's important for these students to come together and to, like the whole goal of the class is to build a great environment for students to come to. The National Sources of Strength model it, the, one of the biggest philosophies is we are about bringing hope, help, and strength, not um, getting bogged down in shock, sadness, and trauma. All right, good morning, you guys. Welcome to class today. I just love the environment. It's so, like, just happy and fun here. Like, the moment you enter the room, it's just kind of, like, it's just so, like, warm and loving, and, like, everyone just kind of welcomes you. It definitely has helped my mental health a lot, like especially having it in the morning. It's a really close group of people and they're all just really great. Really it's the family that we've created. Everyone here will tell you that. It's really great to have people who you can count on and I don't think there's a day in here where I don't laugh. Think about your story that you just told. What were the strengths, think about the wheel, that helped you like get not only through that but then like be able to tell this story now in front of this group of people and laugh about it. One of the things I love about Source of Strength the most is that it is a mixture of students from all different spheres of influence. We want to make sure we have as many different spheres of influences uh, represented in our group as possible because that's how we really get the message out and that's how we connect to our whole community. We do a lot of presentations and advisories so we make little like PowerPoints and then we'll have like little games and activities and classes just so people can kind of understand our message. That's kind of trying to get the message across. And then we also have campaign campaigns we do every semester. It's kind of like our main class project. We plan a campaign each semester and then everyone kind of works for a portion of it. I know that it's like better taught me how to like support my friends and support the people around me. I would say CERN, absolutely there's a social emotional, has everything to do with social emotional support. So they're not maybe looking to connect kids with other like kids, they're here to support your social emotional growth so you can flourish in whatever group you connect with. So far, CERN has put into place things like advisories. So advisory is a time for mentorship, for circles, um, for social emotional lessons. Mentoring is a huge piece to our advisory. Two days of lessons, two days of circles or emotional support, and then the rest of the time for mentoring. When something happens in a student's life or when something happens in the community and we know it's gonna affect that student, we go to their advisory teacher first and we flat out say, who are, who are their other people besides you? Because you're supposed to be one of the most important people. I'm in the local wind symphony 
And in order to play together with like the people sitting next to you, you have to have a quality like relationship. Like you have to know each other, you have to talk. And that's difficult for me. But like with my advisory teacher, I was able to overcome some of this like fear and anxiety that, that I had and go through different ways of like, hey, how do you start conversations? How do you like actually talk to people? A couple of our other efforts that we, that our students really um, wanted to work towards this year that we kind of came up with as a team. The students really want to do this Panthers and Paws as a way to build community. And so kind of establishing a social media page that all the students can follow and then hiding like little Panthers and little Paws around the school, especially for different like events to kind of, it's almost like a scavenger hunt type thing. And then also we can tie social, emotional, and like school spirit into it as well. I'm excited for the cool down corner, um, mostly because it's basically where students can decompress and um, kind of relax from the stress that a lot of schoolwork will, can put on them. We don't really have a limit to how many students can be there at a time, but we do have a time limit for the, uh, the students to actually be there and use any of those tools that are available, fidgets and journals and like little bubble timers to watch and practice breathing. We want to send them out there with coping skills. We don't want them showing up in their boss's office going, I'm really frustrated and I'm going to cry and I don't know why. Like the other day in work, I was all alone. I felt really overwhelmed. So it was like, it was good. I just took a second. I did a little bit of box breathing and I was like, you know what? People can wait an extra second for me to get myself together <laughs> so that I can be in the best spot because I was very overwhelmed at the time. But people gave me good tips, so I guess that was good. <laughs>real life experiences to be incorporated into our learning and we want to give them transferable skills that they can take past high school. The culture of our school is built around what we're responsible for and what and how we do it. The real is an acronym. We do things through relationships. Everything starts with a relationship. The next part is the experiences. We want students to have real experiences. That means truly experiencing the curriculum not only inside, but also outside of classrooms. Next piece is adapting. We always adapt. And last, it's learner-based. That's the R-E-A-L. Really, the biggest measure is how people treat each other here. It's our culture and our environment that we've created. That's, it's hard to measure, like through math or statistics, but ultimately just like the way people feel whenever they come here is our biggest measure of success.